Welcome everyone to another episode of What's New in Prisma, the show where we bring you the hottest and latest news in the Prisma ecosystem. Uh, I'm your host. Uh, I'm alone. <laughs> everyone else is on vacation. Uh, so yeah, we will cover today's release, uh, the latest release, uh, version 2.30. Uh, but before getting started, uh, like, like I'm going to wait a little bit for everyone to join so like they do not miss out. And let's also tweet about it. And yeah, tell us where you're joining from. So let's go. Share the link. And I guess we can get started in a minute. Let's tweet about it. Oh, hey, Garrett. How's it going? I'm just reading about the live stream. And I guess we can get started. So welcome, everyone. So let me share my screen uh, so like we go over the release notes. So let me click share. And I need to get to the settings. Should be able to see my screen. So let's just switch this overlay. And yes. Congrats on releasing full text search. Yes. So uh, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. So this is the latest release, uh, version 2.30. Uh, the first thing uh, that we released, uh, this is a new preview feature, and it's full text search for PostgreSQL. So uh, for you, so like this is uh, opt-in. So you have to enable the feature flag. So in your schema.prisma file, what you need to do is add the full text search flag. And yeah, so what full text search is, is full text search. So you can actually um, search on um, fields that are in your database that are of type string. So here, for example, we have this model post. And each post will have an ID. Uh, it's an int, and it will auto-increment. And also, each post will have a title, a body, and a status enum. So that means the post's status can either be a draft or published. And then you have a body, which is also a string. So here, uh, you have uh, this query, this example. So it says await prisma.post.findMany, where, so the condition, is the body, the body field. And then we have this new search field that we can use. And here, we're passing the query. So what this query does is it says, in the body field, so like return all posts where the body matches the following keywords. So either cat or dog. So actually, let me open the documentation. So in the documentation, you'll be able to see the different uh, query formats. So you can say, for example, so like here, this sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Uh, say, for example, you want uh, to make sure that the word fox and dog matches, um, so like this query matches in this string. Uh, you can do that. Uh, also, like dog and fox. So like uh, you can do it the other way around. Uh, you can do also like not something. So to make sure that something is not included. And you can do a lot of powerful stuff. So this feature is... Uh, it just exposes um, PostgreSQL's uh, native like search capabilities. So this is just exposing a feature that's in the underlying database. 
And yeah, so like as it's so like it's mentioned here, uh, Prisma client supports what the database supports. So PostgreSQL supports full text search, and now we support it, which is great. So let me go back to the release notes. And next, uh, we have new validation errors for refer referential action cycles on Microsoft SQL Server. That was a mouthful. So um, what happened was with referential action cycles, so in Microsoft SQL Server, sometimes you have circular references that can, uh, that can happen between different models. And this can lead to errors in Microsoft SQL Server. So before, you were, it's, the error messages weren't clear, but now they are. So if you're using Microsoft SQL Server, that's good news. And yeah, for more details, you can like check out the docs and read more about it. Uh, it also covers like self-relation uh, and circular relations and all that stuff. So and then the final thing is Prisma introspect is being deprecated in favor of Prisma DB poll. So before, uh, when you wanted to introspect a database, you would run Prisma introspect. So uh, you would pull the database schema in your schema.prisma file. Uh, but now we renamed it to Prisma DB poll. And yeah, so like the reason behind the naming is that we have another command and it's Prisma DB push. So <laughs> they go uh, like together very well. So like uh, as mentioned here, uh, that it's kind of like uh, it's the counterpart of Prisma DB push. Uh, so now if you use Prisma introspect, you will get a warning saying like you should use Prisma DB pull instead. And then the final thing is uh, this is the latest release before uh, we adopt semantic versioning. So the next release should be Prisma version 3. Uh, there aren't any changes with how you'll be using Prisma. Uh, it's the same old Prisma you know and love. Uh, the only difference is how we communicate uh, releases. So for more information, uh, we actually have an announcement blog post on the Prisma blog that you can check out. And it covers a lot of details. Uh, so uh, like, for example, how we will do breaking changes, how we'll do um, uh, like um, uh, patches and bug fixes, and also minor releases. So this is very good news. And yeah, so this is it for this release. I prepared a demo for full text search, and I will show it to you right now. So this is an XJS app. It is running. And I am connected to a local PostgreSQL database. Let me just triple check. Yes. So like I'm on a Mac, so I'm using the Postgres app. So if I say postgres.app. This is the app that, that I'm using. Uh, we also have on our YouTube channel and in the data guide, guides that cover how to set up a local PostgreSQL instance. So in case you don't know how to do that, uh, go check out these resources. And yeah, so this is an XJS app. Uh, it has a search bar because we're covering full text search. And uh, I already have, uh, I'm following the same example from the release notes where I have a model. Actually, let me just show you instead of making things running. So this is an XJS app. And inside my schema.prisma file, I have a post. Um, and again, it has an ID, a title, a body, and a status enum. So like a post status can either be a draft or a live. And I enabled the full text search preview feature. And I'm connected to a PostgreSQL uh, database. And yeah, this is the URL, because this is just locally. Uh, this is not like a hosted PostgreSQL database. And yeah, so like this is an XJS app. So uh, with Next.js, you have uh, different pages. So I have the index page. This is the one uh, that you see, which is like localhost 3000. And I think I should zoom in a little bit more. Yes. So and what else? So in this index.tsx uh, file, I'm using TypeScript, but you don't have to. Uh, all I'm doing is uh, I have like the title, I also have like a form, and I have a button for submitting stuff. And what I'm doing is uh, I'm making a request to an endpoint that I created. It's called search, and I'm passing in uh, the query from the front end. So this is where the magic happens. So Next.js supports uh, API routes. You don't have to use uh, Prism with Next.js, but they work very well together. Um, and in this endpoint, this is a function. Uh, it's called handler. Uh, it takes a request and response. And I'm grabbing the query from, uh, so like from the request, request.query. 
And what's happening is uh, I'm doing like a try catch block. And inside the try block, I'm doing uh, await prisma.post.find many, where, and then the body, and then the search, just like the release notes, no difference. Uh, the only difference is, so like so far, um, when you have a query that has spaces, uh, it throws an error. This is still a preview feature. Uh, so like the fix is to add uh, dot trim, dot split, and then dot join. So like um, this is like a SQL thing. Um, and yeah, now let's see it in action. So if I say, for example, actually before showing it in action, let me show you the database. So I have Prisma Studio running and I already have um, three posts. So one, two, three, uh, and each one of those posts has a body and we'll do the search on the body. And actually, if you're interested in the code, I'll share it with you right now. This is uh, the GitHub repo for this example. So in case you want to clone it, play around with it, uh, improve the code in case you find uh, any room for improvement. And there's also, so like when you clone it, I added a seeding script. So all you need to do is just clone it, run npm install, and then run uh, the seed command, and then run npm run dev, and you will have the same exact uh, example that I'm working on. Uh, the only thing you need to do is just set up a PostgreSQL database. So now, uh, if I do, for example, uh, the word post, and I fetch data from my database. So I have this first post and the second post. Each one of those has the word post in them. So that's why they were returned. If I say, for example, post, uh, <laughs> that's a, no, I meant like second post to just show the second one and it's returned. And I also have a third one and it says like next JS. And this is the third post. So these are all the posts. And if I say, for example, some, you know, anything, it will just say there are no results that match your query. So this is full text search. Uh, and this is the example. And yeah, so like this release um, is just introduced this new feature and I, a couple of improvements. And yeah, uh, I think that's it. Now I'll look at the chat and see if you have any questions. So I'll stop sharing my screen. Let me just change this really quick. And OK, let's check out the comments. So what is the difference between this and something like Algolia? Uh, that's a good question. So I had the same question. Um, so full text search is a feature in PostgreSQL. Uh, things like Algolia, Elasticsearch, these are products that enable you uh, to have more powerful search. So here what we were doing, we were doing uh, query matching. So I passed a query and we're matching it. But for example, say you want your search to have uh, relevance, uh, where you want to show the most relevant result. Or for example, you want to do fuzzy search. So fuzzy search is where um, you kind of just search for a word and it's not the exact word, but it shows similar results. Um, and yeah, so like it depends on your use case. Uh, if you want something that is complex, you can check out like something like Algolia or Elasticsearch. Uh, they're different uh, than each other, and there are a lot of comparisons online that kind of compare which one to use. Um, but yeah, so like this feature, we're just exposing uh, a feature of the underlying database. Um, and yeah, so like this is PostgreSQL under the hood. And this was the question. <laughs> I should have showed it. Uh, and then another comment that says, Algolia has multi-index support, I think, so you can query the entire set of models. Postgres, on the other hand, you search by a single model at a time. Uh, I believe that is correct. And you also, um, if you check out the docs, you actually have to manage uh, indexes or indices <laughs> yourself. Uh, this is to make the queries run faster. Uh, what algorithm does Prisma use under the hood for this feature? This is a question that comes from Gabriel. So this is PostgreSQL. Uh, if uh, I believe it uses um, TS query and vector. Let me just check because I asked about this. Um, so under the hood. Yes, it, 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 it uses uh, TS vector and TS query under the hood. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, can you explain the indexing part of PostgreSQL 
full text search. So from my understanding is when you want to have a query run faster, you use an index. Uh, so maybe something um, is being uh, searched frequently. You want this query to return faster. Um, and yeah, so like for more details, uh, you should definitely <laughs> check out the docs. Um, but yeah. And that's actually it for this release. Um, we don't have anything else covered. I actually want to share my screen one final time. So let's go to just one sec. So yeah, so one a couple of things that I wanted to mention was first thing, we have an upcoming Prisma meetup. Uh, so there are a lot of exciting talks, so you should definitely check it out. Uh, we'll be sharing uh, more details on Twitter as well. So yeah, there are a lot of exciting talks. Uh, we have a talk from uh, Nick uh, from PlanScale on like what's new at PlanScale. Uh, Plan and scale, in case you don't know, uh, they provide, uh, they're innovating in the databases uh, space. Um, and like, that's all I'm going to say. Like, they're, they're really cool. You should definitely check them out. And then Ryan, uh, a colleague of mine, uh, will be discussing how to deploy Prisma on Lambda using the CDK. And then we have Harsh, uh, who will talk about database design 101. So yeah, definitely check out uh, this event. Um, and yeah, and then finally, uh, what I wanted to mention is that we are hiring. So uh, we have a lot of open positions. So go to prisma.io slash jobs. Let me actually share the link. And yeah, uh, so like uh, go check out our open jobs. If you find something uh, that fits you, definitely apply. Or if you know someone that might be a great fit for a position, definitely let them know. And yeah, we're, we're hiring across many departments. So there's design, there's a senior developer advocate. You'll be working with me. Uh, and then we also things for software engineering, marketing, technical writing. And yeah, so that is really exciting. And OK, so there is a question. Uh, is Prisma going to have full text search on Microsoft SQL Server? So uh, I'm not really sure. I'll have to double check and let you know. Uh, but pretty sure it's going to be on the roadmap. But I'll have to double check. Uh, so like, yeah, uh, if it's so like if Microsoft SQL Server supports full text search, and I assume it does, then eventually uh, Prisma should support it. And then, yeah, if there aren't any other questions, Oh, there's a question uh, that says, what's the background green screen or, uh, or else? No, this is um, not a green screen. This is actually just a regular paper background. So like, yeah, but it looks really cool. So yeah, I guess uh, we can wrap up uh, if there aren't any other questions. And yeah, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to reach out on Twitter or ask in our uh, Slack community. Um, and yeah. So I'll just wait a minute in case anyone wants to ask any questions. OK, so there's a question. When will the next part for ongoing Prisma with Next be released? So I'm actually working on a course, uh, like full stack next year. Yes, actually, let me share the link. So it's a, full, uh, it's a course, uh, like a full course, where uh, I show you how to build a full stack app using Next.js, GraphQL, TypeScript, and Prisma. And I'll also, I'll be using services like Auth0 and S3. Uh, and I already uploaded the first part, where I covered the data modeling. And right now, I'm working on um, the GraphQL part. And it's going to be massive. Like I cover a lot of stuff. So if you're new to GraphQL, you're going to love this part. Um, and yeah, like it's very detailed. So let me just go to the playlists. And let me share it in case anyone haven't watched it. So yeah, it's on our YouTube channel. And yeah, in case there, if there aren't any questions, I guess we can wrap up. And yeah, this was really nice. Uh, and I guess we'll see you in two weeks in our next release which should be Prisma 3. All right, awesome. Have a great day, everyone.